Hey everyone, my first live video on my official Facebook farm page. Super excited. It's gonna be no different though, just me showing plant type stuff. I wanted to show you guys um, what the soil blocks look like when they start to grow. So I don't know if you've watched the video um, on my personal page. I will definitely share that over to this page as well on how I made the soil blocks. And this is just, you know what, a couple weeks later, they end up looking like this. Awesome little sturdy plants. Now, typically I would go ahead and just thin this out. I actually have thinned these quite a bit because I have really great germination rate, which is a good thing. This is Napa cabbage, so I'm excited about that. They're really sturdy and look awesome. I could probably separate this into three. Okay, go ahead, finish your essay. Um, but these ones need to get put in the ground. I'm doing it all in one. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. You're a part of my life. You're my kids. They are, don't go away. Wow. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> no matter how much I need a wait time. Anyway, so this is, um, this is what, oh, they're kind of, these ones are kind of soft, but you can see the roots that have just started to poke out the side and this is what air pruning is so it stops growing once it reaches the air and it stops itself from being root bound right about now is when you want to plant these things okay there's these are cucumbers my late season cucumber stuff I'm gonna to try to get a, a quick pickling harvest in these are short day they'll probably be ready in I don't know 55 to 60 days so hopefully fingers crossed we can get some cucumbers out of them before then but these I've thinned. You can see I cut one there. And I'm, I might actually try to get both of these to survive in the ground. But you can tell that this one, because there's two of them, they have more roots. And it's not terribly bad. Like, this is still great. But ideally, you would want one plant. And this is kind of what it's going to be looking like. This is the perfect time to plop this baby in the ground. It doesn't have, it's not gonna have transplant shock, it's not gonna be root bound, um, you know, squash and cucumbers are, are notorious for, you know, being told you can't transplant them and you should put them right in the ground. But really, if you have a short season or wanna get ahead of it, these um, soil blocks are the way to go. This is just an old, <laughs> Pop five box I'm using to transplant the or to transport these four out to my garden which is over there so I'm gonna bring these four I mark down here national pickle and mark it more what what variety they are there's this ants. there's ants everywhere hey well don't get bit I don't get now watch out move don't get bit this is the template that I was um, showing or telling you guys about rather in she made that from scratch <laughs> yeah I'm trying to see if I can tag myself in this video <laughs> let's see if it'll let me I don't think it will <laughs> it's not letting me interesting it won't let me tag myself just figuring out the new business page type of inner workings anyway I just did this in a word it's just like three lines but that represents this back so you can see I have a back a side and two sides and that kind of represents where that is on the tray I've marked them so this is tray four so I can do tray four and usually I put planted on these were planted on of course, I didn't put it in this one. I have it on my the one page that's inside. But I usually put a planted on date here. And then I can kind of just coordinate what blocks are what here. So I know that I wanted to plant these this row, because this row was the was these plants. So I knew that these front two were national pickle and the back two were market more. So obviously market more, national pickle. And that's a way for me to keep track of what's on the flat here and not have to mark them all individually. Because if you can see here, I have a lot of different 
varieties of tomatoes. If I were to get these mixed up, there's no way I'd be able to tell what these were until they started growing. So this is a great way I found it to be very time effective and not a huge hassle having to mark them all individually. All right, hopefully that helps. Make sure you guys are inspired to try to plant your own fall garden because fall gardens are the where it's at. What? You want to show yourself? No, 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 not just me, everyone. Okay. All right, well, this is Tyler. Say hi, Tyler. Okay. Some comedic relief. Where did you go? You ran away? What are you doing? All right, these are my kids. <laughs> An outro? I should just have you guys be my camera crew. Okay, put the bamboo stick down. Yep, okay. All right. Well, a little bit of uh, children, a little bit of plant children. <laughs> yep, thumbs up. Go ahead, say outro. Outro? Bye. <laughs>